Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday, December the 17th. Sorry these have been a little sporadic this week. Uh, it's just one of those weeks. Today is the day the church commemorates the life of the prophet Daniel and the three young men from the fiery furnace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Behold the, behold, the Lord comes to save us. O come, let us worship him. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch. In his days Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell securely. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Rejoice greatly, O Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. I will, I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more than can be told. But may all who seek your, you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. Rejoice greatly, O Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. The Old Testament reading today is from Isaiah chapter 33. Ah, you destroyer, who yourself have not been destroyed, you traitor, whom none have betrayed. When you have ceased to destroy, you will be destroyed, and when you have finished betraying, they will betray you. O Lord, be gracious to us. We wait for you. Be our arm every morning, our salvation in the time of trouble. As the tumultuous noise peoples at the tumultuous noise peoples flee, when you lift yourself up, nations are scattered. And your spoil is gathered as the caterpillar gathers, as locusts leap, it is leapt upon. The Lord is exalted, for he dwells on high. He will fill Zion with justice and righteousness. And he will be the stability of your times, abundance of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is Zion's treasure. Behold, their heroes cry in the streets, the envoys of peace weep bitterly. The highways lie waste, the traveler ceases. Covenants are broken, cities are despised. There is no regard for man. The land mourns and languishes. Lebanon is confounded and withers away. Sharon is like a desert, and Bashan and Carmel take off their leaves. Now I will arise, says the Lord. Now I will lift myself up, now I will be exalted. You conceive chaff, you give birth to stubble. Your breath is a fire that will consume you. And the peoples will be as if burned to lime, like thorns cut down that are burned in the fire. Hear, you who are far off, what I have done, and you who are near, acknowledge my might. The sinners in Zion are afraid, trembling has seized the godless. Who among us can dwell with the consuming fire? Who among us can dwell with everlasting burnings? He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, who despises the gain of oppressions, who shakes his hands lest they hold a bribe, who stops his ears from the hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from looking on evil. He will dwell on the heights. His place of defense will be the fortresses of rocks. His bread will be given him, his water will be sure. Your eyes will behold the king in his beauty, they will see a land that stretches afar. Your heart will muse on the terror. Where is he who counted? Where is he who weighed the tribute? Where is he who counted the towers? You will see no more the insolent people, the people of an obscure speech that you cannot comprehend, stammering in a tongue that you cannot understand. Behold Zion, the city of our appointed feasts. Your eyes will see Jerusalem, an untroubled habitation, an immovable tent, whose stakes will never be plucked up, nor will any of its cords be broken. But there the Lord in majesty will be for us, a place of broad rivers and streams, where no galley with oars can go, nor majestic ship can pass. 
For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, he will save us. Your cords hang loose, they cannot hold the mast firm in its place, or keep the sail spread out. Then prey and spoil in abundance will be divided, even the lame will take the prey, and no inhabitant will say, I am sick. The people who dwell there will be forgiven their iniquity. Our writing this morning is from Veit Dietrich, and this is from his Samaria Uber de Ganze Bibel, das Altes in Neue Testament, the summary of the entire Bible. This is a prophecy that the king of Assyria would be defeated before Jerusalem and would retreat with shame, and the righteous would be saved against all the hopes of the desperate hypocrites. And the prophet comforts them well, so that whoever keeps himself in God's will and guards himself from sin shall be safe, as if he were on a high rock. And he shall have his bread and water, that is, his nourishment, even if everywhere else everything goes badly. He also promises the forgiveness of sins. And by doing so, he touches on the New Testament, in which the true enemy, the devil, shall be defeated, and the true Jerusalem, the church, shall be made safe through Christ. And about the prophet Daniel and the three young men. Daniel the prophet and the three young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, were among the leaders of the people in Judah who were taken into captivity in Babylon. Even in that foreign land, they remained faithful to the one true God in their piety, prayer, and life. On account of such steadfast faithfulness in the face of pagan idolatry, the three young men were thrown into a fiery furnace, from which they were saved by the Lord and emerged unharmed, Daniel 3. Similarly, Daniel was thrown into a pit of lions, from which he was also saved, Daniel 6. Blessed in all their endeavors by the Lord, and despite the hostility of some, Daniel and the three young men were promoted to positions of leadership among the Babylonians, Daniel 2, 3, and 6. To Daniel in particular, the Lord revealed the interpretation of the dreams and signs that were given to King Nebuchadnezzar and to King Belshazzar, Daniel 2, 4, and 5. To Daniel himself, the Lord gave visions of the end times. We join together in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, you rescued Daniel from the lion's den and the three young men from the fiery furnace through the miraculous intervention of an angel. Save us now through the presence of Jesus, the Lion of Judah who has conquered all our enemies through his blood and taken away all our sins as the Lamb of God, who now reigns from his heavenly throne with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things, let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed day.